To begin using your Monit wireless sensors, the first thing you'll need to do is create an account through the iMonit online wireless sensors portal. The iMonit online portal will allow you to set up and manage wireless sensor networks, set up and configure your wireless sensor parameters, set up notifications for when those parameters have been met or exceeded, as well as view and manage your wireless sensor data. To get started, we'll need to open up an internet browser and navigate to www.imonit.com. From the iMonit landing page, we'll click on the Get Started Here button to create our account. On the first page, we'll need to enter our company's information. When we've completed entering this information, we'll click Next. And on the next page, we'll need to enter our primary contact information. Now cell phone and cell carrier are only needed if we want to create SMS text message alerts from the system. I'm going to go ahead and leave these blank for now. We'll click on Next. On the next page, we'll need to create our first sensor network. In order to do this, we'll simply enter the name for our network. and click Create Sensor Network. With our wireless sensor network created, we can now go ahead and assign our first gateway. If we are using uh, Wi-Fi sensors and there's no gateway to be added, we can simply skip this step, but I'll be using a gateway here, so I'm going to enter my gateway ID. These are both found on the bottom label of the wireless gateway. Please note that the gateway code is actually all letters, capitalized, six digits. Once we have that information entered, we can simply click the Assign Gateway button. Next, we'll be asked to add a sensor to our network. We'll go ahead and enter the sensor ID and check code from the bottom label of our first wireless sensor. When we have that information entered, we'll go ahead and click Assign Sensor. At this point, we'll have the ability to change the sensor's name, as well as choose how our sensor will be used. When we have that information entered, we can go ahead and click Continue. At this point, we'll be asked to create notifications for this wireless sensor. We already have some pre-configured options here that we can just check if we want them on our sensor and then add them or we can create a custom notification based on the application type. So to start with, I'm going to create a custom temperature notification for this sensor. At this point, we can uh, change the name of the sensor notification. This is just how we identify it. And then we can actually change the notification text. This is the, the message of the text message or email that you'll receive. and then we'll go ahead and set our parameters. So for this one, I'm going to set it to anything greater than 82 degrees means our office is getting warm. And then the alert between, we can have this notification only active between certain hours of the day. If we want to have it active 24 hours a day, we'll go ahead and leave this from 1 a.m. to 1 a.m. The snooze function actually tells the system to not notify you again for a predetermined amount of time. Um, if we have our sensors checking in every 10 minutes and this uh, criteria is still met, you'll get a new text message or email message every 10 minutes. So this is an override for that, allowing us to only receive an alert every 60 minutes. We can go ahead and change that if we want. I'm going to leave it there. And then lastly, we're going to want to make sure that the notification is set to active and we'll click Save. We'll now see the notification over on the left hand side under our currently assigned notifications. If we want to add any of these, like I said, we just simply click it and then add it to our selected sensor. Now these pre-configured options here, the low battery uh, notification will alert you if the battery drops below 15% by default and the inactivity alert will notify you if the sensor misses a certain amount of check-ins. When we have all these in, we can simply go ahead and click Done, and we've successfully added our sensor to our network. 
Now we can go ahead and assign our other sensors or click done. I'm going to go ahead and quickly add a couple other sensors. Uh, when we're finished, we'll go ahead and click done. At this point, we are ready to start using our wireless sensor network. To view more video support files, go to www.monit.com forward slash support.